Hey, what's going on guys? So if you've newly bought an iPhone or you've just updated your software, here's a few settings you might want to turn off either because of privacy issues for data consumption or because it consumes too much battery. All right, so let's get right into it. Scroll down to display and brightness. So the first one actually is race to wake. So this feature is pretty cool. It senses any movement uh, for the screen to wake up, ready to use without tapping it, but it does consume more battery. So if you are wary of battery life, you can turn it off. All you need to do is when you lift up your phone, you'd need to tap the screen or press the side button just to activate it and uh, unlock it. Otherwise you can just keep it on. If you prefer the convenience, I tend to keep mine on. back in the settings app and privacy now once you're in privacy you want to click on location services and you want to scroll all the way down all the way down all the way down to system services okay so a few on here you might want to uh, review so for example to significant locations now i've already turned mine off the reason i've done this is that it tracks all your places you've been to in the past and your places so before turning it off it showed my full address it showed the local shops i used to go to of course pre-covid and any gardens or parks or practically anywhere i've been even if they were abroad so what you want to do is probably turn that off i don't see the need to turn on significant locations unless you're using uh, the apple maps where your iphone recognizes where home is or recognize where you work but um, if you prefer putting that in manually like I do, just go ahead and flick off that switch. Whilst you're in privacy, go back and go back again. Now, if you review these apps, you'll notice if you click into any of the apps, for example, so I'll click on one here, there is a toggle for precise location. Now this uses a specific location where you are. So depending on if you're comfortable with that, you can leave that on. Otherwise you can go ahead and turn that off. What that will do is probably use a radius around you. Click in privacy again, scroll all the way down and at the bottom there, analytics and improvement if you want to click into that. So this is where your iPhone is sort of actively checking your trends, your personal phone usage. So if you want to save some battery and don't want to share your personal usage and what your trends analytics are and send that to Apple, you can just go ahead and turn that toggle off. You'll see the prompt here. So this will also turn off data collection on your Apple Watch. So if you have anything else connected, you can turn that off as well. So the next setting is in face ID and passcode. Now I've already signed in because it asked for my passcode. So once you're on this screen, if you're using your passcode or face ID, go on to these settings and then scroll down. And this, this is the part we're looking for. So allow access when locked. So if the phone is not with you, if you have anything sensitive or you don't want any access at all uh, from anybody else, you'd want to review these. So when your phone is locked without using your passcode or without using face id you are able to return missed calls for example if you need to toggle that off reply with message again if somebody has access to your phone and does not have your passcode or your face id they can still reply to messages activate siri um, look at the control center look at your notifications and your today view things and scroll down all the way to Safari. All right, so clicking into Safari, you'll see preload top hits over here. What this does is that when you're typing into the search, it will automatically load up suggestions and top hits. Now this may or may not be what you're searching for, but it will consume more battery whilst your iPhone is trying to be more proactive. So if you don't require that, you can just turn that toggle off. Whilst we're still in Safari, if you scroll down to camera and microphone, now these are tricky ones. It asks for camera access on all websites, either ask, deny, or allow. 
Now I'm quite wary of this, I prefer to keep you on ask. Now same thing for the microphone, if you keep you on ask at least you're able to monitor when these are needed or even asked for. Um, if you're apprehensive towards it, just turn it off, otherwise you can keep on ask just so you can track when your phone is trying to spy on you through Safari. Alright, and one more. So if you go back into the settings and go down into general, then click into background app refresh. So I've turned mine off. What this does is that it actively looks in the background for any new updates and pulls that data through for your phone ready for you to look at. So if it's emails, if it's any updates on your Amazon or anything like that, your iPhone will automatically pull the newest data for you. Now I noticed this takes a lot of battery life things that it says that turning off apps may help preserve battery life. So it's known by Apple. It's one of those that will really drain your battery if you use it. Now, if it is important, you can review each app and see what works for you where you may require live background refreshes on your apps. Otherwise you can just simply turn that off and pull your data whenever you need it. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for today. If there's anything on here which you found useful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on everything tech. But on your way out, leave a comment below. Which settings do you find useful to turn off?